Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's NACTA webinar. My name is Lorene Romero. I am going to be moderating this fun session today. I want to do a little bit of housekeeping before I turn the reins over to Diane. Uh, I want to remind everybody that NACTA webinars are part of your membership benefits, and it's wonderful that you're taking advantage of them. These are also being recorded. I will have them up on the NACTA YouTube channel within the next 24 to 48 hours. If you're not subscribed to the NACTA YouTube channel, I encourage everybody to do that. Main reason, you can always go back and review Diane's webinar. Uh, Lisa Watson puts up some tips and tricks, uh, short videos about how to update your NACTA profile, how to work on your NACTA one sheet, how to change your passcode, all those short little bit of information that makes your NACTA membership even better for you. A little bit of housekeeping going on. As I mentioned, it's being recorded. Everybody is going to be on mute, so that way we don't have any background sounds for Diane's presentation. I will be sending everybody a message in a couple of days. It's going to have a link to this. It's also going to give you a link if you want to be able to uh, sign up for the YouTube account and also contact information for Diane. So if you have questions, I encourage you to put them in the question box. Diane and I will have a Q&A session at the end of her presentation and at that time I will read your questions. So with that said, I am going to turn the reins over from, to Diane Horan from AMA Waterways. We have done many webinars together. She's awesome to work with, full of wonderful information about her product, and I'm looking forward to what you have to say. Here you go, Diane. I'm going to put myself on mute so you don't hear my chair squeak. Wonderful. All right. Thank you so much, Lorraine. I really, really appreciate your introduction. And hello, everybody out there, wherever you are. I don't know where you are today. I'm in beautiful, sunny Florida, uh, enjoying the weather. But yesterday, I was actually in Colorado, and it was warmer there than it was in Orlando. So that was kind of funny. So I'm glad you're joining me today to hear this lovely presentation I put together, and I called it Rolling on the River, Our True Story. And when I do these webinars, the disadvantage I have is I don't know who of you out there that are joining me who know our story, who know our background. I don't know who knows all, all about AMA Waterways and to what extent. So I always have to start at the top because even if you do know the story, you might have forgot it, it might be a little different, and maybe I might even show you something you didn't know before about it. So let's begin. And every story begins with Once Upon a Time. And I love this shot because does anybody know what that particular item is in that picture? I just literally cracked up when I saw this slide with, with the typewriter. I thought if there's any millennials out there, they possibly don't even know what this is. So of course we have to start because we did have typewriters back in the 70s when our story really began. So the next slide I'm going to show you actually is a very short movie, but it's no sound on it, so don't worry. There's not any sound, and if for any reason it doesn't move, we'll just move on. But if it does, I think you're going to really enjoy it because this is how we started, and this was the very beginning. This is Rudy Schreiner himself right on that raft in the Am there he is, Rudy, in the Amazon River um, in Peru in 1975. And the reason this is so important is that was Rudy Schreiner's first river cruise experience. So I hope you're laughing out there because it is kind of humorous. Somebody actually found this rare piece of footage, gave it to Rudy now that he's such an icon in the river cruise business, and we love to share it. And now you're seeing Rudy today, and Rudy is the gentleman with the blue shirt on. Um, and with the big smile on his face, although they're all smiling. These are our wonderful, illustrious owners. Uh, and really, the, the reason our company is such a great success. Rudy Schreiner's roots really did start back there in 1975. He went to college to become an architect. He's from Vienna, Austria. After getting his architectural degree, he decided to go on a really awesome trip with a bunch of his friends. 
and one of the things they did was go on that river trip who believe it or not even back in 1975 somebody was able to film this and we have this very wonderful piece of footage to remember how we all started so Rudy although he went to school to be an architect went on this adventure and it changed his life because now he found that he loved travel he loved adventures and he particularly loved rivers and he actually many of the things he did in his life that led him to where he is today was to even run a student travel um, company and did many of these very unique adventures eventually though Rudy as many of you may know out there came to be the president of a little company you might have heard of called Viking River Cruises and then he also became the president of Uniworld River Cruises and at the time Avalon was getting started they would have liked him to become their president to get them going but instead Rudy had another plan he wanted to have his own river cruise company because he wanted to have the ability to actually design the ships himself and have a say in what they came out to be and along the way he was fortunate to meet the lovely lady in the center her name is Christine Karst Christine is the one you really need to appreciate because Christine came to us originally with a background in sales and marketing with American Express. She grew up in Germany and then came to the United States to work for a company. Again, guess who? Viking River Cruises. And guess what happened? She met Rudy. And guess what happened? They fell in love. And so now they're a family. And Christine is our advocate in the industry. Because of her rich background in the travel industry, uh, with her relationships with American Express that brought her to want our business model to be premised against the fact that we would do all of our business through the retail travel agency distribution system so I can't hear you out there but I hope you're all clapping your hands and giving a collective yay Christine and then you've got Gary Murphy there Gary Murphy is the son of Jimmy Murphy Jimmy Murphy was the original founder of our company having also been the founder of Brendan Tours the highly regarded tour company for European travel especially and um, also he had been one of the founders of USTOA but Gary's been with us since the beginning too and so I'm sure many of you out there have had the opportunity to meet one or all of these three wonderful individuals who to this day still work 24 7 to make sure that we have the best river cruise company in the world and uh, so we are all in when you look at the river cruise world and you look at the map you have to understand that this is really our world um, when the big cruise ships started taking passengers over to Europe they were able to get them to the edges of countries but unfortunately the big cruise ships couldn't take the people through the countries and so the river cruise experience allows you to do that to go through the countries places like Hungary, Slovakia, Czechos, uh, the Czech Republic Austria, Germany, etc. are countries that you can only be accessible via the rivers and so the river cruise experience is like taking a cruise experience to the rivers you get on board you unpack your bag one single time and you get to float down the river and in a period of eight days and seven nights you see multiple places the reason it's become so popular is because everyone loves that idea they don't like packing and unpacking to go places so in my world that would be me Diane I always call this the civilized way to travel now look at how we've grown from our very humble beginnings when we had no ships back in 2002 when the company started the first ship went on the water in 2006 followed quickly by the in 2007 and then every year after that by one or two ships we have since then retired the the Amadagio and the Amalegro and we now maintain a fleet of 17 ships in Europe our newest ship for 2017 the one that will be christening soon is very very special to all of us in the company because her name is the Ama Christina and she is in fact named after our owner and it's about time she had her own ship and it is going to be state-of-the-art so if you've got any chances to promote it to sell it or recommend it I highly would recommend it the shot you're looking at there is Passau if you haven't been on the Danube cruise you haven't seen this but this is where three rivers collide uh, the Il and the uh, Danube right there in particular 
And uh, to me, one of the most beautiful points on the river cruise when you're on the Danube. Our family uh, heritage bleeds through all the way down to our staff on board the ship. When they hire people for AMA Waterways, they do look at their resumes, but they also look at the way they interact during the interview because we're really looking for people people. A people person is a person who truly enjoys being engaged with people they don't know, getting to know them, and having that ability to communicate with people in a warm way that makes them feel at welcome on board. And that's what we look for with our cruise managers who you see in this picture here, and I think we've more than achieved it. If I had a nickel for all the people that came back from AMA Waterways and said, I had the best cruise director I ever had in the world and wanted to have them get back again, I would be a very wealthy person. But I can tell you all of them are just like that. We also have beautiful ship designs. When Rudy first designed our ships, he came out with the original ship, which was the French balcony only ships. All of those ships now are actually in France with the exception of one single French balcony ship is left on the waters in Europe. We maintain it on the Europe's rivers and um, castles itinerary because it really negotiates the locks in that area well. Um, but all our other ships are now of the long ship variety, which means they're 443 feet long and they're 38 feet wide. The defining difference between AMA Waterways and our competitors, especially um, Viking for instance, is that we put 30 less passengers on our ship. When you have 30 less passengers, that means you have 15 less staterooms. When you have 15 less staterooms, that means the staterooms that you've been building are going to be much larger. I like to just stay on this picture because I like to look at all the things that are going on on the top deck. There's lounge areas, there's swimming pool areas, there's a front area that you can eat out on. There's just many cool features of our ships. When you get on board on the waterways, you will immediately realize that we have a very warm and elegant decor on board. The trades compare us to Oceana Cruises in the cruise industry, and they compare us to Four Seasons Hotel. So that gives you a perspective if you haven't had the pleasure of cruising with us yet. That, in fact, is an elevator. The elevators can go to the two main decks. Because we also maintain the lowest draft in the industry, the elevator doesn't go to the bottom deck. So you really have to walk down a little series of stairs to get to the bottom deck. Um, but there's only 10 to 15 cabins down there, depending on the ship that you're um, selling. We also, because we have less passengers, have more space. We have space to have a big gift shop. We have space to have a coffee and tea area where we've got the most awesome coffee machine that's open to you 24-7 for your own pleasure. Make your own fancy coffees or teas. We've got on the other side of the ship, we've got the library seating area, which is defined by two fireplaces built into the wall. And can you just picture yourself on a Christmas market cruise coming back and sitting there? It's just so warm and inviting, and that's how we want you to feel. And I'm going to now share with you the uh, actual staterooms on board on the waterways. And I always start with the least expensive one because this is as bad as it gets and you can see from looking it's not so bad. It's really quite beautiful. The room is 160 to 170 square feet depending on the ship that you're on. It's actually quite nice. I'm only five feet two and I can easily see out of those two windows. There are two like rectangular looking windows. They're high above the water line so there's no water splashing on them. Uh, Rudy has created the room so they even have a uh, a, a system where the air conditioning moves the air around the room. So again, taking away any stigma of an ocean view, which what we call an AMA is a river view room, where you don't have the ability to actually open your window or your door. Uh, but so these are all very nice, and uh, again, I said we don't really get any, any complaints on them. The next step up is the French balcony staterooms. Now these are the staterooms on all of the French balcony ships in France, but also there are category C cabins on all of our twin balcony ships that I'm sharing with you. 
uh, right now. The, the French balcony rooms are 170 square feet, and when you walk to the edge of them, that door there just opens up. There's three bars, so you can't walk out into the river. And I'm telling you, I love, love, love these rooms. You can stand on the edge of them, put your little toes on there, and it feels like you're right there, right on the river. It gives you a very much a private yachting experience or feel. And now what we're most known for is the fact that Rudy does things outside the box. So he created a very special stateroom. It's called the Twin Balcony. So it boasts both the French balcony as well as the full-size uh, traditional balcony in one single cabin. So when you look at this picture, these passengers are actually standing in the same cabin. She is on the French balcony side and he is on the traditional. And when you look inside the cabin and you look out, this is what you get to see. You get to see that full-size balcony that can fit two chairs and a table easily. And also comfortably you can sit inside the French balcony side. If you look at the size of these staterooms, they're 210 to 235 square feet in size. That is not too shabby in the river cruise industry. I'm telling you that if you start to really look at dollars to dollars and compare apples to apples, you are not going to find any staterooms like this from anybody. And that's what I'm so proud of. Over, I believe it's 65% of our staterooms actually look like this. So you're looking at a regular cabin, not a suite. Another interesting feature and exclusive feature to AMA Waterways is the fact that we have actually created connecting staterooms. These connecting staterooms were created initially when we created a partnership with Adventures by Disney who planned to actually charter our vessels. And I'll tell you more about that later. But these connecting staterooms are on all the newest ships built since 2015 and they actually allow you to have the, the traditional you know, connecting room option. The neat thing about Rudy, though, is he didn't want it to be a tacky door opening into another room, so instead they were made as a pocket door. So once you move them back, there's no door that you worry about being in the way of connecting these rooms. And look what a beautiful situation that creates. There's six sets of connecting staterooms, so that means 12 of the rooms are allocated this way. And now, guess what else we have? We also have triples and quads. So again, because of a relationship that we forged with Disney, we created a special piece of furniture which could actually convert into a sleeping bed um, at night and a couch at during the day. So in the original um, design, you had the chairs, two chairs. In the new design, you have that little couch with the chair. And when you actually open up that little couch, this is what it looks like so you can get a true perspective. So if you're traveling, you've got a, two, a couple traveling with a child, a grandparent or a mom and dad, or even if you're taking someone elderly with you or somebody you just need to have share the room with you, it is a possibility now on AMA Waterways. Also in every room on AMA, we're proud of the fact that we have these Apple TVs, which are our entertainment system. This started after the year 2013, I believe, and we installed these apples and they allow you, all of our ships worldwide have um, uh, compute, uh, have Wi-Fi system, uh, but in Europe, in every single cabin, you're finding either an Apple or a PC that gives you total accessibility to the internet 24-7. We do work off the 4G network. We do not work off of satellite, and that is a huge difference. We really do maintain a pretty peppy um, system so you can really communicate well. You can also use this to access local channels, cable channels, on-demand movies, all complimentary. And if you brought your, I your iPads, your iPods, your iPhones, your smartphones, you can certainly access our internet as well uh, throughout the ship. I wanted to share with you a shot of the Ama Viola. It was actually built, this was the one that was designed with a lot of specifications from Disney. I wanted to share this with you because I love the vibrant colors that we used. Uh, every one of the ships is very similar, except what changes is the color schemes on board or the decor itself, so that they all have their own distinct atmosphere, but they are all very similar, so that there is consistency across our product line. We even maintain a fitness center on all of our ships. 
in Europe and even in the Mekong River we have one. This is totally free of charge and all of the fitness centers also house a sauna which can be used as well complimentary. Our ships also all in Europe maintain a hair salon and also in the Mekong where you can get your hair done. And also we have a spa uh, so that you can have spa treatments and many times a lot of our offers that we have include shipboard credits and since it's really kind of hard to spend money on board, this is a great way you can utilize those funds. On the top deck, the sun deck, we have some amazing features, uh, one of which is the swimming pool area. The swimming pool area is actually heated like a jacuzzi. On the French balcony ships, we just have the jacuzzis, but on these ships, we have the full-size pools. They're really quite nice. They're surrounded by a wind wall, and the wind wall creates a solarium style effect. This solarium effect causes it to be warmer there, and since the swimming pools are heated like a jacuzzi, we find that people actually do use these pools year-round. I was even on board once when somebody, we were on a Christmas market, so there were people going in that pool. That beautiful bathrobe is in your room to, to use as well that the gentleman's wearing. And you see that gentleman in the back, he's got, it looks like he's uncorking a bottle of wine and that is what he's doing because we actually do maintain a swim up bar. The reason this bar was built is because on the top deck of every river cruise ship, everything has to be collapsible. So you notice those walls are on a cable system. In the event of high river, low, I'm sorry, yeah, high river, low bridge, we're able to collapse those walls down. Hopefully nobody's in the pool at the time. Ha ha. But now we also have put that bar in, so we're able to maintain still a bar service on the top deck. Um, and not worry about building it up to a level where it's not going to be collapsible. So it works perfectly. So another brilliant feature that Rudy thought of. When it comes to culinary excellence, we're unmatched, I believe, in the industry. Uh, we have a wonderful dining that allows your clients to come to the dining room whenever they want with open seating dining for breakfast and for lunch. They can also choose to eat off of a menu they can choose to eat off of a buffet, or they can even choose to go up to our panoramic lounge and eat just a light bite if that's what they prefer. Uh, at dinner time, we will have an actual dining time that is allocated. It does change with where we are in the river, um, and at that time, everyone will come to the dining room. We have tables for two, four, six, eight, and ten, and we even have booths. You just can't see them because they're behind that buffet table. Oh, there you go. There's the booths for you, so you can see it. The reason that we put these in, we got many requests for them. People feel very warm and cozy in booths, and they like them. So we've built those as well. And off of each set, offset off of each dining room, there are two small rooms called the wine seating area rooms. They're called that because the back wall actually has wine bottles all the way up it. In the front, what you can't see is there's one of those beautiful little fireplaces, and it's just a warm and cozy environment of they're a very quiet and peaceful room. So if anybody is traveling with a group together and they'd like to eat in the wine room at night, they simply ask. Come down, ask the maitre d', and he'll be happy to seat your little group together there. No charge for that. And we also have an alternative dining option, which is our specialty dining room, which is called the Chef's Table Restaurant. It's actually set in the aft of the ship, and this one was taken of the Chef's Table on the beautiful new Amistella. And we actually have the chefs are going to be freshly cooking behind a glass wall each and every course for you. So it allows us not only to give you a special dining experience, which will be a 10 course tasting menu, but it also allows us to take 26 passengers out of the main dining room, thus creating more elbow room in that dining room and less, it's more quiet in there as well. Again, when you're trying to maintain being a premium brand, these are things that matter. Another thing that defines us is our Chaine de Rotechere Society um, designation from France. Uh, this means that the quality of the food service on board will be exceptional. You cannot join this, you must be asked to be a member based on the quality of your food. And no food service is complete without a fine wine, and so we don't deny you that, 
by serving only premium wines. We, that means we have no such thing as house wines like some of our friendly competitors. Instead, we change the wine every night. So if you're on the Danube, one night you should be drinking Hungarian wine. One night you should be drinking Austrian. One night you should be trying German wines. And so we give you that opportunity. And in the morning, we don't want to deny you either, so we give sparkling wine. Now, we don't give unlimited spirits cocktails, but beginning in 2018, we will begin what's called our happy hour um, or our cocktail hour, where we will be actually allowing guests to also have spirit style cocktails unlimited during that period of time. Uh, we're not going unlimited because we've had people that have talk to Rudy that said they don't drink at all and they feel they're paying for something they don't consume and so this kind of makes it good for all. Please note however we do have an open alcohol policy on board our ship which simply says if there's something you see when you're off the ship like let's say you're on a wine cruise and you see a bottle of wine you like please buy it and bring it on board because we are more than um, able to allow you to do that and then you can have what you'd like to drink as well on board that night. We do have nightly entertainment on board. It's very top-notch. It actually, many of these, these um, people that come on board have been hand-selected by our actual people at AMA, starting originally with Christine herself. And they are just really exceptional. We also are so proud of our complimentary shore excursions because they are so plentiful. We don't just offer our standard city tour in the gentle, average and active walking group, which simply means slow, medium, and fast. But we also offer up to six complimentary shore activity choices at every port. So you can be anywhere from the varieties of the gentle to the active walking group, to the late risers group for those who want to sleep in and leave a little later, to the limited edition tours, which are small group tours of 20 passengers or less, who are going to do something experiential, such as you see in this picture here, where they're learning to make goulash in Budapest. I did that trip, by the way. It was awesome. My favorite trip last year was called Waffles, Beer, and Chocolates. Guess where that was? That was in Belgium on the Tulip Time. And then we have bicycle tours and we have hiking tours as well. Our average demographic age on AMA waterways is just hovering around 60, maybe a little bit less even. We have many active people traveling with us. So we have a full-blown bike tour series that's offered wherever we can offer them with two guides to take the bike tours out or you can even go on a bike tour yourself. Here you're actually seeing a picture of these people that are actually biking down the river and that's their ship behind them. We also have launched hiking tours. They have been very popular. I love to show this picture because this picture is in Dernstein, which is one of my favorite places on the Danube. But if you look behind the, the the blue cathedral there and the tops of these red buildings and you look up the side of the mountain here that is where there is a path that actually climbs up the whole side of the mountain right up to this medieval castle. Um, although this castle is in ruins it is absolutely the most amazing view of the Danube River and I highly recommend it. I have to tell you the walk up there is a little bit steep and a little bit uh, bumpy so you do have to be a little bit fit to do this, but we do rank all of our hiking tours so you know what you're getting into before you embark on it. But believe it or not, in this little tiny place of Dernstein, of which you're seeing all of it, there are five shore activities that are complimentary that you have a choice of just in this one little port. I wanted to just explain that we did create a partnership with Backroads due to the um, rich nature of the ability to do biking tours in Europe and their impression of AMA waterways and how great we've done with our very soft core biking tours, they actually now maintain departures with part charters and even full charters where they actually take their bikes on board our ships and every day the passengers get their bikes and go off riding. It has been a huge success. So if you have anybody interested in a really more active biking holiday, they can also put, purchase an AMA Waterways cruise through that program. The same applies to Adventures by Disney. 
We do allow children on our ship age four and up, but we don't maintain a family program. Certainly, if you have a family reunion or people are coming with a child, they are more than welcome on board our ship, but we don't have the rich programs that an Adventures by Disney could offer them. So when we created this partnership last year in 2016 with the launch of the Ama Biola and now the Ama Stella uh, and um, more ships to come with the twin belt, uh, with the um, uh, adjoining cabin designs, uh, we now have the ability for Adventures by Disney to even expand more. So they actually, this year, last year I should tell you, they actually chartered seven ship departures and filled them all. Next year they have 14 on the Rhine and the Danube. So it has been a raging success. If you have anybody that really need hardcore family travel, this is where you want to take a look for a river trip. Now for an adult trip, let's switch over to a wine cruise. So the wine cruises are probably among the most popular cruises that we sell. In 2017, we have 42 of them. In 2018, we're going to have 50 and maybe 50 plus of them. What they simply mean is, even though we always give complimentary and limited wines uh, during the meal hours and beer, etc., on a wine cruise, we take it a step further and we have a host on board and that host actually is going to be coming to us uh, from some renowned winery vineyard might be a well-known sommelier but they will be a person with a personality that's going to interact with the guest and create wonderful wine experiences such as some lectures they'll do on wine tastings many wine tastings trips to vineyards we can only go to on the wine cruises and a very special wine pairing meals. So if you've got any winers out there, I highly recommend the wine cruises usually rate the highest of all our cruises every year. One of them we introduced last year and also a very rich wine area is in the south of France and it is our Bordeaux trip. So we now have this beautiful eight day, seven night cruise experience on the Ama Dolce, which we brought there from Europe, the main part of Europe, completely redid. It's a beautiful French balcony ship and your passengers are going to absolutely love it, if they lo especially if they love to see the wine regions. This is Bordeaux. It is so beautiful on the Garonne. Um, there's many estuaries we're going to be um, going on and this is just a picture of really the beginning and the end of that trip in Bordeaux. Another excellent theme cruise that I highly recommend is my personal favorite is the Christmas markets. You're viewing there one of the six Christmas markets in Vienna, Austria. These take place the four weeks on the advent calendar but I have to tell you guys something. Last year a bunch of my colleagues went over there around November 13th, 14th, that, in that time frame, and many Christmas markets had already opened up that early. So I think the Europeans are getting into merchandising, so they're opening them up even earlier. Another one I love is the tulip time. I took this actually actual picture of my colleague Kathy Brock, who many of you may know if you're from the Southeast. She's the business development manager out of Atlanta and covers the southeastern states. She just happens to be taking a picture of the tulip fields. Isn't that beautiful? When you see the tulip fields in full bloom, you'll never forget it. And then this iconic building, this is the beautiful parliament building in Budapest. Until you've gone to Europe and seen this at night, all illuminated, you really haven't seen Europe. It really is a sight you'll never forget. This is actually taken from the Fisherman's Bastion area overlooking it. And I want you to know we dock right down there overlooking the Parliament and overlooking back at Buda Castle. And the Enchanting Rhine is a beautiful itinerary known for its incredible Rhine Gorge area. Around every twist and turn, you'll see a beautiful castle. And the Enchanting Rhine is one that starts in Amsterdam, ends in Basel, or the opposite direction. And I want you to know that we are launching some new itineraries with the Rhine that will combine the Moselle in 2018, and we will, for the first time, have some 10 and 11-day cruises.
Yahoo! Then we've got the enticing Douro, the Douro River of Portugal, one of the most scenic rivers in all of Europe. It is defined by its very steep embankments that are known for its terraced vineyards along the way. This picture alone can give you a vision of it. It's a very small waterway, so we maintain a small ship on it, the Amavita, only 104 passengers. It's known for where the port wine comes from, the port wine grapes, and also the trees where they make the corks for the wine bottles. Now I want to share with you something that's a little surprise. I'm going to put in some more information on Vietnam, Cambodia. The reason I'm doing this is I've had so many calls for interest in this in the past year. We put a beautiful new ship there, the Amadara. So when you look at our program to Vietnam and Cambodia, what it is is you can either do eight days and seven nights just on the river only, you can fly in early to Siem Reap and do an additional three nights and do that with the river. Or you can do the full blow and land package, which would include encompassing northern Vietnam, seeing this beautiful place, Ha Lam Bay, and Hanoi, then flying to Siem Reap, doing the three nights there to go to Angkor Wat and all those beautiful archaeological areas, then jumping on the boat and heading to southern Vietnam, eventually ending up in Saigon, Ho Chi Minh City. I want to share with you some pictures and a little bit about this because this was a life-changing trip for me. Uh, this is the beautiful Ha Long Bay. When I tell you it looks exactly like that, I'm not exaggerating. It does take your breath away. I want to share with you the junk that I was on when I was there. We actually take an overnight stay on these Chinese junks. They're the most beautiful piece of junk you've ever seen in your life. And that was an actual picture I took of the actual junk that I got to sleep on overnight. They're really quite amazing. This is a picture that I took when I climbed up on one of those rocks formations. We went, there's a beautiful path. They stop at a beach. You get to swim in the beach. And then I walked up the path so I could look down and see. It was a very hazy morning. It was early that day. All the boats have now since been painted white, um, but it's a really magical place. I have to share with you a picture of the room. Not too shabby, right? So as I said, the, the, word, uh, the word junk is an oxymoron. It's anything but a piece of junk. After enjoying that UNESCO World Heritage Site of Ha Long Bay, we fly down to Siem Reap and enjoy the UNESCO World Heritage Site of Angkor Wat. This was a picture I took at sunrise over Angkor Wat. It isn't it stunning? Again, a vision I'll never forget in my life, sitting there in the pitch dark, and all of a sudden the sun begins to rise. It's something you'll never forget. You get to walk around those ruins. We actually spend three nights there, which is fantastic because you need it. And you get to, I love the Cambodian people. This is just some of them that are dressed in their traditional garb that allowed us to get our pictures with them. One thing we do in Cambodia that is the most meaningful day of all, I believe, is this is Christine. When she made the decision after going to Cambodia that she was mesmerized by the children and she wanted to start a school to teach the children how to speak English. And so that's what they've done. And so it's called the ODA school. And I want to show you a picture now of me at that school in 2014. Can you see how it's growing? It's really a beautiful thing. Christine found out that if you taught the children of Cambodia to speak English before a certain age, that they would go far in the world. If they didn't learn English, they usually stayed where they were. So this was something that really helped them and allowed them to grow and prosper. We now also study, we also um, sponsor a school for the arts and music. This is the ship, the Amadara. When you look at it, it just looks kind of normal on the outside, almost like the river boats do on the Mississippi if you look at it. But it's a very special and unique vessel. When you get on board, Rudy has taken all the hardwoods of the region and brought it to life on board the ship. So it, you know you've gone somewhere when you get on the Amadara. Please look at the stateroom and notice it's a twin balcony design, just like what we have in Europe, except we brought the hardwoods into the, the play. We have the smallest cabin, 251 square feet. The suites, which are called, they're, they're the small suites. They're 366 square feet. And we even have a 502 square footer. 
Look at the Mekong restaurant where we serve both Western style food and some local foods to try. And we even have a chef's table restaurant on board the Amadara. So we even provide a specialty dining experience in Vietnam and Cambodia. This was a very special surprise when I went on my cruise. This is actually my nephew, Patrick, and his soon-to-be, well, he's now married, and his going-to-be wife, Nozomi. He was teaching in Japan at the time and said, Aunt Diane, if you ever go on your ship in the Mekong, call me. I want to meet you. And guess what? He did. He booked himself. He was there, and he proposed that very first night to his wife. And that is Toy, who is our cruise manager, singing a love song to him. He's quite talented, by the way. We even have a fitness center. Again, consistency across our product line. The spa, just like in Europe. The services there are outstanding. We even have a swimming pool, again, just like in Europe. So all good things. Onboard entertainment will again will be taken from the destination to create an atmosphere on board of where we have been. And I want to share with you just a few pictures that I took myself on my trip because I want you to truly appreciate the beauty of Cambodia and Vietnam. I always say a picture is worth a thousand words. When I show you the floating markets, for instance, it's like nothing you'll see anywhere else in the world. One of our very special, unique small group experiences is to go and have a Buddhist prayer ceremony at a monastery. We will be visiting these beautiful palaces. See how clean that is? What I always recall about my visit there was the cleanliness. Everything was pristine. I loved seeing the way the silk was being made right from the worms, and that is why we give silk scarves away on all of our cruises on Ama Waterways as a gift to our guest. The Phnom Penh, the Silver Pagoda, again, look at how clean everything is. It really was just outstanding. This trip was really a life changer for me. I love the total immersion with the culture, the people, so unlike a river cruise in Europe. Uh, but say, seeing similar things in a totally different environment. That's Gary Murphy on one of our trishaw rides, and yes, you will be taking trishaw rides, rickshaw rides, and all of the above. And if you're lucky like me, you get to walk around and take these amazing pictures of these children. One of my favorite pictures is the one of the, the little girl in that turquoise hat that I took of her with her mom on the streets. That was taken in actually, I think that was Phnom Penh. And it's perfect for groups. This is a group of tra this was a travel agent who brought a group on board from Puerto Rico. It was amazing. They loved it. It's a great place to do that. Now we have African safaris. Who does this? We put together a program where we have the Zambezi Queen floating on the Chobe River on the confluence of Botswana, Zimbabwe, and Namibia. It is a floating luxury safari lodge. When you go to Africa, you're there to be one with nature, so the whole thing opens up. You can see by those images how beautiful it truly is. It is the most amazing experience to cruise on the water and do game viewing. Combine it with going to Victoria Falls for three days and two nights and seeing these magnificent waterfalls. Combine it with traditional game viewing in the bush for four days and three nights where you stay at the most amazing lodge called Tin Swallow. And this is actually one of the units that we use there. When you check in, I'm telling you, when you see the unit, you will cry. It's so magnificent. So these are things that AMA does. We do things outside the box. This isn't a typical safari. This is combining the opportunity to see non-traditional game viewing on water, traditional game viewing in the bush, waterfalls, and even going to Cape Town. Now I have to finish with the product and wrap up with some things you need to know. Solo travelers, we've waived the single supplement in 2017 and 18 on all category E and D cabins, but it is inventory controlled. That means not every cabin is available for you to sell this way. However, if you find you have small groups of solo travelers, please come to me or your BDM because we can look at soft dates to accommodate multiples of these. This is a great program for single people. It allows them to travel without being gouged. 
What's new in 2018? This is very important. You want to remember this. We are going to have eight new itineraries launched. We are going to do 10-day and 11-day itineraries. We're devising new itineraries on the Danube and on the Rhine and even now adding the Moselle back into the mix. We're very excited about this. We're changing up a little bit on the Mekong and maybe even you'll see some new developments in Africa. The new ship in 2018 is going to be called the Amalea. It's going to be 158 guests. It will be the sister ship to the Ama Christina this year, and we will continue to launch these innovative new ship designs. We are open for bookings since November of last year for 2018. Preview brochures are out, and the new 2018 will be out shortly, the big, big brochure. We are currently accepting new group bookings, so don't forget. Uh, we are going to expand our active program. We will now be offering more hiking tours, and guess what? We're going to hike. Or, uh, we're going to also this year launch a new wellness program. We're going to test market it, where we will have yoga and things related around wellness, because we've always offered alternative, um, healthy dining choices on AMA. And next year, we're up to 50 wine cruises. If you've got any Spanish speakers, we actually have allocated eight sailings where we won't speak just English, but we will have Spanish speakers on board as well. We did this on purpose because that market is growing, but we do want to funnel it to just specific sailings because all of those sailings will be English only. We have multiple promotional offers in place right now for wave season, which officially ends on March 31st. As I can say, get them while they're hot because at $2,000 off per stateroom, these are the deals of the year. We have early booking discounts in place for 2018 already as well. And so we've got some special deals for those who want to book early. Even $750 off wine and Christmas markets cruises for 2018 are already in place. If you have any groups, it's only five cabins. You earn one free person for every nine you book. You're going to get your own group coordinator. You only have to put up a $50 per cabin deposit, which is 100% refundable. You will, if you have 10 cabins sold and want to have your own customized shore excursions, the ability to have your own customized group for two shore excursions that can be included. So if you've got any group business, please reach out to your local business development manager to help you. New group amenity program was just launched. Book select wine or holiday cruise dates and you will receive a confirmed upfront TA escort rate. And that is part of our GAP program, our group amenity program. You can also choose to do combinability of an onboard credit with a bottle of wine or chocolates. But most people want to get that group escort up front because then you can assure your group that you will be traveling with them. This picture was taken of me on the Provence trip last year with our wonderful Dion, who's one of our awesome cruise managers. Everything you need is on the travel agent portal. You can look there to get hot dates. That means what's still available. For webinars, you can go for training. You can go there to find your fam, fam opportunities. It's where the online booking engine is. Only travel agents can book with AMA Waterways on Saturdays and Saturday afternoons and Sundays all day. We do not deal direct with the consumer. There's no way for them to access that. You can even manage your own group bookings on board on our online booking engine. So please, if you're not registered on our travel agent website, go on the www.amawaterways.com. Hit the Travel Agent tab and get yourself registered immediately. There's a university program on that site as well. You can get a much richer appreciation and knowledge of AMA than I can possibly teach you in an hour. FAMs are listed on there. The best way to learn AMA, the best way to be passionate about selling AMA is to cruise on AMA. Please look at the long list of FAM dates that are currently open to you. We want you to go. We do have a knack to FAM we're promoting for May the 12th departure, but I believe it's sold out today. 
I was just talking to my sales coordinator. I have to check, but she was saying it was pretty much full. So you're, you know, anybody that jumped on that, congratulations. You're going in the most, my favorite time of year. You're going to have a fantastic experience. Best way to go, however, is totally free. And you can earn a trip with AMA by booking five new bookings since last year, October, through all of this year for current year sales, you will actually earn a free cruise scot-free. So once you compile those five cabins, just send them to me and you're off and running. You can go this year or next year, depending how soon you earn them. And a Mekong booking, by the way, counts as two bookings. And I'll wrap it up by saying we have a dedicated sales team across the United States. We're there to serve you. We're there to support you. We're there to help you. I currently am the uh, Regional Director of Key Accounts, which means I have the distinct pleasure of overseeing NACTA as a, as a key account. And so uh, any of you that are out there, if you're in Florida, we also have a BDM, Ina Vineu, who is in the Florida market, and I know many of you know her as well. But as you can see, we have business development managers covering every state to help support you. My grand finale is for those of you who may not know this, Berlitz, which is the most unbiased ranking uh, system in the world because you can't advertise in their book. They go and secretly rank all the ships in Europe. They decided last year in 2006, uh, 16 to rank all 310 river ships. Of the 310 river ships, we came in number one through 11. And number one, two, and three, the Prima, the Reina, and the Serena had equal ranking. So I feel like we have three number one ships in the world. So if somebody comes to you and they ask you about booking a river cruise and they haven't heard of our brand, please introduce them to us. Tell them, bring this out. Tell them they're the top rated in the world. Just because we're the most premium does not mean we are the most expensive. We have very competitive pricing. And now I'll wrap it up with your question. I did say that if you join my webinar today and you could answer a question for me and send me the answer that the first person to respond would receive a $25 gift card. So my question is, for those of you who can remember a lot of information I gave you today, what is the name of the new ship in Europe that will be introduced in 2018, not 2017, in 2018? So we know in 17 we have the Ama Christina. So what's the new one in the 18? And we're also clarifying this, that they need to email you the answer, not put the answer in the question box that goes to me. Yes, please. There's my email, diane at amawaterways.com. Send it there. And I have to tell you, thank you, thank you, thank you, NACTA. This is myself and my wonderful colleague, Ina Bainu, who's the business development manager in Florida. When we were at uh, a most recent NACTA, a conference and we were awarded the River Cruise Line Partner of the Year. We're very proud that we've won this for years, so we can't thank you enough. We are going to win it again because we're going to continue to support you every way we possibly can. Thank you for your tremendous support. For those of you going to conference this year, I'm going to see you there. For those of you who haven't been on AMA Waterways, I'm going to encourage you to Check out our fans. Try to get there. And for those of you who aren't booking and promoting and selling us yet, come on, you guys. Get out there. Start selling. You can make a lot of money doing this, and you're going to have a lot of happy passengers and clients. So with that, I'll say thank you. And Lorena, I'll turn it back to you. Perfect. Thank you. Great job. Great job. Yes, and we did decide to mix it up a little bit. A lot of times people are used to being able to just throw it in the chat box and I get to be the one to answer. And this time Diane and I said, nope, she'll take care of that. So thank you, Diane. Uh, let's do that. And I have to tell you, uh, let me see. I think I already have a winner. Uh, it looks like it came from ZZ, but I can't see the name. So you might have to send me more information. And also, I got a quick winner from Karen Malillo, Wish Upon a Trip Travel. And I think I might just send you both a $25 gift card. Thank you guys so much. You are just wonderful to have listened and, and taken part in my webinar. 
and uh, anything I can do to support your efforts out there to grow your AMA waterways business, that's what we're here to do. Are there any other right, questions? Let, I, there are a couple of questions. We're only going to be able to get through a couple of them because oh, we're right. at the end of our time. Uh, yeah, but good. if but you also have Diane's email, so if there's like some burning question you absolutely didn't get answered, um, feel free to contact her. She's awesome. Uh, and r a good reason why they keep winning being River Cruise of the Year because, you know, it's Diane's and the cruise line. They're totally awesome. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Uh, let's see, uh, quick question, I'm just going to kind of skip through some of them. Uh, are soft drinks additional charge throughout the day uh, or just available at dinner? Yeah, they're available at dinner um, but uh, and lunch and breakfast. Okay, and I will tell you that that's most of the time you're on the ship. Uh, so it's rare that you ever really will have to pay for one. Um, you can also bring your own on board if there's a specific type of soft drink you like too, because we're limited with them, the different varieties. Got it, got it. Uh, someone was asking about the chef's table. Is that complimentary or additional? Yeah, absolutely. Everything on board is complimentary except if you want to buy a spa treatment, a hairdresser, go in the gift shop. Even all of the shore activities, there might be a rare shore activity here or there you might have to pay for, but they're extremely rare to find anymore. So really, okay. you don't need a lot of money on board. <laughs> <laughs> Save your money, go tipping the staff. Um, so that would mean there's no corkage fee for wine that's brought onto the ship, is that correct? Correct. Bring what you like. If you go on a wine tour and you love the wine, buy it. Bring it on and drink it. <laughs> um, someone was asking uh, if, oh, here's a good one, they could bring their own tandem bike on the trip. Uh, you know, I've been asked that. And, of course, you could bring it, but you would have to put it into your cabin so we won't have a place to store it. Uh, it could be stored on the top deck, but it would be in the elements. So I don't know how you get it there, but if it's travelable and you're willing to put it in your cabin, it doesn't matter to us what you bring as long as you know you have to house it yourself. Got it. Um, because we're running out of time, last question I'm going to have, and again, if I didn't ask your question, sorry about that. Um, yes, send it to me if they didn't. If you yeah. didn't get it, you, Diane, it on the waterways, I'll answer it. Got it, got it. Uh, someone was asking if they could find brochures and additional information for the Adventure by Disney and Backroads Partnership Sailing. Direct with those companies. They have them, them, that's their own product. They just buy from us. Got it, got it. Well, thank you, Diane, as always. It's always wonderful to work with you. And I want to thank all the agents who are on the line um, taking up their busy day but getting this important update. And, Diane, I've been on your webinars many times, and I love the refresh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're very welcome. Okay. Have a great day, everybody. Okay. Bye-bye.